This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Gary Price, elder law attorney. And Gary's here for the musical from behind the camera. The That's little, true. That's little true. ditty there just for you. It's good Wasn't to expecting see. it. Enjoyed it. <laughs> They're so talented, those gals. <laughs> they keep us entertained. Well, Gary is back, and of course, he's the author of that book in his hand, Medicaid in Indiana. And over the time we've been together, one of the things that we talk about is the confusion people have, the myths out there, and the misconceptions about Medicaid. And I mean, I get it. There's just so much to know. There is, and you hear a lot. Yeah, that's the thing, is what you hear. And as we've talked, when you hear it, usually someone's complaining about it. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about it, you're probably complaining about it. And if you're complaining about it, you may even be exaggerating it a little bit. And that's how a misconception is, is born. How it begins. What yeah. is the number one that you hear all the time? So we talk about, you know, I, I've said this before, and I, I, for example, I might mention the number one, I think the number one, of course, it's, it's, it's I think. I start the yep. conversation with I think. Um, the number one misconception I've always said was that idea that I got to spend everything before I qualify for Medicaid. Or if you're a married couple, uh, they split everything in half, and the and the spouse who's applying for Medicaid, that spouse has to spend their half before they're qualified. Both of those are misconceptions. Both of those are false. But you know what I think the number one is? The number one is people dismiss Medicaid before they even get out of the starting gate. They don't even think about, oh, I got to spend this half or I got to spend that. Instead, they say this, oh, I make too much money or I've got too much stuff, I don't qualify for Medicaid. They say that right out of the box and they and they just dismiss the idea and that is wrong, that's just false. I, I talk to people at all kinds of different income levels. I talk to people who have a variety of stuff and, and we can get them qualified. There are rules out there. There are transactions out there that we can take advantage of to allow them to shelter, if not all their assets, a good portion of it, and still get them qualified for Medicaid. Why do you think it is, Gary, that there's that negative uh, uh, understanding, if you will, a negative idea that oh, I don't qualify for Medicaid? Is it, well, what is it? What, I mean, what is it people th are thinking? Well, they think, they're thinking that Medicaid is for the indigent, those who okay. have nothing. Sure. And they have something, so they make that conclusion. But it's that premise that it's just for the indigent, that's false. It's not. Well, how, you know, now that we, we know that, I mean, where can we learn, besides your wonderful book, where can we go and just do the reading and do the research to find out what's, what is out there? Right. So if you Google it up, you're going to get a lot of misconceptions. <laughs> <laughs> so, Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. So, and you, you can take a look at the book. Take it, you know, in the book, there's a, a free consultation where we actually talk about your particular situation and we work out a plan we discuss first I'll over I'll overturn that misconception that you have to let you know yeah you can qualify for Medicaid and I will yeah I pretty well we do that for everyone so I uh, there's there's no exception to that to that rule um, you can qualify and still shelter so I I don't know to answer your question there, I'm sure there's some other books out there at the library that talk about but the thing about that is you know no single book because it's different state by state. Well, and it changes all the time, and too. And it changes all the time, too. So, um, I don't know. I think you're better off. Take advantage of the free consultation. Let's talk about your particular situation and how it apply, Medicaid applies to you. And that's why you give Gary a call. How can they get your book? Call my office, 812-475-8444. We send you a free copy. Medicaid in Indiana, Gary Price. We'll be back with more right after this. Stay with us. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Gary Price, Elder Law Attorney.